Hello everyone. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel, Cameron Film Tips, where we will look at yesterday's film cameras and today's film photography. Today we'll be looking at culminating the lens of an Africa Isolate 3 folding camera. So let's get to it. I'm Dennis, and this will be an instructional video using a 35mm camera to culminate a camera lens. Though I've only used this for lens of Agfa Isolates and Ansco Speedex folding cameras, it will work on other cameras. I will also mention that this video was made in 2010 and using very basic video equipment, so will not be the best. It is good enough that we'll teach culminating the camera lens. One quick thing before the video, if you could click the subscribe button and ring the bell below so you could get notified when new videos are added, would certainly be appreciated. Now on to the video. Hello, I'm Dennis, and uh, we're here today. We're going to recombinate a lens that I had removed to uh, work on. This is an Isolate 3 6x6 bellows camera that um, earlier we had replaced the bellows on, so you can catch that video if you're interested in replacing the bellows. But now we had uh, worked on the shutter, have it working good, have the lenses cleaned all back in, but we have we have to now culminate the foc culminate the lens and for the focus. Now I would usually use a 35 millimeter camera. It's about the only thing I use it for today. I would zoom out and I would line up shooting through the lens here on an X on a um, piece out of a TLR camera that I've placed on there. And I will put it on the back of the camera and tape it on there. I will take some tape, set it to bulb, Release the shutter, but hold, hold it open, bulb, because we want to be able to look through the lens at that X. And we've got it aimed up at some light, it makes it a little bit easier to be able to focus on that X. Now, with it open, you would zoom in with your 35 millimeter camera, you would make your adjustment to where you see that X real sharp, then you would know you're in focus. Today we're going to do it with a video camera and so you can see the actual sharpness of that X. Now Elaine is going to focus in with the video camera. We can keep the shutter down on the bulb and we're going to adjust that. It's a little bit trickier to do to be able to get lined up on that X with the video camera but uh, we'll get it it's coming in screen. coming in now mm -hmm. let's focus and see if yep see it coming in with a 35 millimeter camera it's there it is we can Hold on to that for just a second here. It looks like it's mm -hmm. pretty close right there. Well, I, not the, yeah, right there. That should be in focus. Now you got a good shot of it on the video or in the video, and that's what you would be seeing with your 35 millimeter camera. And you have your ring. Now you have it focused at infinity. So you want to take your infinity mark that's on here. Infinity mark on here. Line it up with the diamond here. So you take it up there. Line it up like so. Tighten the three small screws that are around here. They were never taken out. They're just loosened. It's three screws. 
and you just tighten those up with it set on infinity and you should be good to go. I'll load it up with some film and take it out, shoot some pictures, see how they're in focus and uh, it should be good. And that's how you recombinate a lens on a little 6x6 folder. And um, like I say, we replaced the bellows on this and cleaned the lens. We did do the video. So check out the video on replacing the bellows on Islets or Ansco Speedex cameras. They're very easy to do. I hope you enjoyed the video using 35mm um, to culminate the camera lens. If you could give a thumbs up, that'd be great. And that will be it for today, so grab your camera, some film, and get out and shoot some pictures. I'll see you in the next video.